Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, long time to see you again. In this video, I will show you the new mm, progress of this uh, scanning electron microscope project. And uh, here you can see um, running an electron feed uh, down through the sample pool. And nothing there, actually. So here is the uh, simple uh, scanning uh, signal generator. There's three levels to uh, select. Uh, first, the TV mode, and slow mode, and the picture mode. Uh, a, in TV mode, it's probably around, um, let me think, 10 frames per second. And uh, here uh, is uh, about uh, 5 seconds per free. And the lowest speed is uh, about uh, 25 seconds per free. Okay, here is the uh, garbage uh, amplifier that I'm using to test, uh, just a test, uh, nothing, so, nothing serious. So here is the uh, okay, focus. Okay, amplifier. Uh, that is uh, that is uh, driving the scanning coil down inside the sample chamber. Okay, here is the focus power stuff. Okay, here is the focus power supply and uh, driving the focus coil inside the column. Um, and this is the secondary electron detector power supply. The Faraday cage runs about 260 volts or 270 volts. The photon multiplier to run negative uh, 950 or uh, 54 volts. And the, and the scintillator runs about 10 kilovolts. And here is the power supply. Here is for the scanning signal generator. Here is the power supply for the uh, photon multiplier uh, output and the amplifier and the offset control. Okay, so the scanning signal uh, spread in two parts. Okay, come on, focus. Okay, uh, one part is going to the going to the amplifier that's to driving the scanning coil and the other two part uh, is the out uh, to here here is basically an analog oscilloscope yeah x y mode and the z output is coming from the amplifier oh so here is the signal output from the uh, secondary electron detector, uh, basically the uh, photon multiplier too. And here is the gain control that controls the uh, contrast. Oh, here is the offset control that controls the brightness on the screen. So here you can see an image on the screen. Uh, if I Turn on the uh, I turn the knob on the sample holder. You can see it's moving. So oh no, I don't know where it moves. Okay, so now I'm adjusting the electron beam focus. Now you can see it focus in and focus out. But basically, there's nothing on the sample holder, so uh, you can only see um, a raster that uh, reflect the electron beam, a surface. Yeah. So here is the control of the oscilloscope. Nothing, basically nothing. So here I'm controlling the. Focus. 
it is the best of the garbage or fruit you can get. So here is a signal output from the amplifier that comes from the photo multiplier tube. So the photo multiplier tube comes uh, focus. Sorry. Here is the signal out, output of the photo multiplier tube that comes through the amplifier and control the gain and the offset that comes through to the splitter and the two parts. One of them is coming into the Z axis input of the oscilloscope and the other one is coming through here, the keyboard, into this oscilloscope that's monitoring the signal output. Here you can see it's actually the video signal output from the uh, microscope itself. So here you can see uh, on the monitor screen, the, the digital camera monitor screen, uh, there's a phosphor disk. There's a phosphor disk on the sample holder. Now the electron beam is not scanning on the phosphor disk. Now if I move the X knobs, so turn it on and turn it through, okay, you can see. Now you can see the electron beam is scanning on the phosphor disk. So you can see the white dot. Uh, no, it's actually the blue dot inside the phosphor disk. But the, it's a black white camera, so you can just see white. So, okay. I'm within, so I can I can I can now join the photo multiplier to the with the invisible visible light. So here is the detector itself, and here is the wire, the blue wire, and the signal output. These two wires basically the high voltage. There's no amplifier inside the detector itself, so. Downside here is the electron gun control power supply. Here is the emission current. Uh, here is the high voltage indicator, and here is the here here is the okay uh, this gauge. Okay, here is the filament current indicator. Okay, here is the emission control. Here is the filament voltage control. Here is the high voltage control now. Can, I can turn it on and off. So I'm pretty happy to run it in 11 kilowatts. So maybe in next video um, I will get a, a better scanning Scan coil amplifier design. This is it, this is just a test. So basically confirm the whole system is working. Okay. Now in next video I will uh, get a, a better amplifier and a better uh, focus coil control system. Basically they are controlled in current mode, not voltage mode. But I'm busy, so here I'm just using a cheap power supply and control it in voltage mode. So thanks for watching and we'll see you